Hello everybody and then welcome back to The Invincible. And we're going to get straight in because I need to remember where I left off. Ah yeah, the desert buggy thing. Right. Oh yes, and the Alliance base. Oh, that's where we are. Ah yes, but there are no people at the base. That's interesting. So, Yasna discovers the destination of the last convoy that left the fuel base. She sets off after realising that there may be a chance to find other people. That's right. I think in our last episode we had uh, uh, two big choices. Uh, one was to leave the planet. And second was to explore the Alliance base. Which was interesting. I decided to explore the Alliance base. Um, but nobody was there. So this is interesting. So now I think we're going to... Press any key. Still haven't got that. Oh my god. Everything's going to load. Oh, load in. <laughs> okay, it has. Right. So I have got to... Now. Oh my god. Oh, frames. Oh, load. Uh, first of all, I've got to find the rover. Wherever the hell it is. Um, and, oh my god. Oh, frames. Oh, don't do this to me. Ugh. Okay, I'm okay. This isn't live. Okay, let's just turn this up. up a little. Oh, I moved without... Uh, where did I put the rover? Shit. I forgot where I parked. Um, that would, yeah, I know, I know that feeling. It's like, where the hell did I park? Ah! There she is. Good film, actually. Was it called Twister? I should move. Oh, there's no time. Oh. Have I parked in such a way that I... Uh, okay. Let me in. Okay, we've got to find this convoy. So, we're in. Let me just... Can I... Uh, journal? is tab. Brilliant. So, field base two... Convoy path is here. I'm here, so um, I need to head somewhere. Okay, am I moving? I'm moving. Oh yeah, because we brought down the shield or something that was. Prov oh, 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 oh god, this is this is why I hate roller coasters. Um, right, I need to keep checking my journal. Oh my god, okay, there's a rock in the way. Uh, let's see if I head in the right way. I don't think so. Fine. Ah, I can't. I'm still here, if you're wondering, sir. It all just takes longer than expected. Ah, yes. I know the situation. No need to explain yourself, Doctor. We're in this together. Okay, yes. Right, this is where I need to go, okay. Uh, it's quite clever as well. When we lowered that, the effects of all the sand and debris that was you know, on top of this dome or bubble. Um, I don't know whether I need to get out, actually. Uh, have a look. Nah, let's keep going. Okay, so I need to go this way. I think. Just stop and check that. Yep. Okay, go the right way. Really? I'm leaving the base. Going after the convoy. Oh. Games is a little bit janky. I don't know whether it's because it's an outside element. Oh, what you see? Legs become too heavy, hands become too weary. Down you go, oh bright sun. Night is not that scary. Hide behind the dark woods. Oh, we're running barefoot. I like that. I know with some games, if you're outside, the frames just drop like. Um, an asteroid uh, dropping onto a planet. I don't know what was that. Well, I've got to the place where they were digging. It's hard to miss. 
They set up a huge machine at the center. Oh. It must weigh hundreds of, no, thousands of tons. The ship that brought all of this must be... Gigantic, yes. The Invincible surpasses any of our units, even the largest orbital stations. Ooh. My opinion, it's a bit excessive. Sounds impressive, bit overwhelming. I'm sensing jealousy. Isn't that jealousy speaking, sir? <laughs> Not at all. Good one. Ah, <laughs> uh, whoa. Okay. Oh, that's saved. Wow. Massive. There's also a couple of smaller cranes here. Just In comparison to the Colossus, they look like it's pups. Yes, I got it. They have big machines. Bigger than ours. Damn you, Yasna. <laughs> and your superior observation skills. I'm missing lots of stuff here. Okay. The excavator has a massive work area. I don't know if I need to get out. They had photos of the site in the database. Can taken before they started digging. It's unrecognizable. Inside, there's a structure. Yes, a metal one. Uh, similar to the ones on the surface. Can I but these are completely it? hidden yeah. underground. Oh. Oh. Interesting. They found a sizable object deep underground. It stands out from the rest. It's not a part of the structures, but rather an independent, oh, autonomous further. machine. Also metal? Yes. So, a robot? Or something else that finally looks familiar? Well... It looks a lot more like a robot than the other structures. Now, we've got another part of the comic book here that's opened up. Turns out that the field base is empty, as we know. Okay. Yasna learns that after she gave up evacuating, Novik used the lander to take Gorski out of the city. Left alone on the planet, Yasna is both angry and happy. And happy. Never mind. Uh... Yes, that's right. Because we, I think we could have left with Gorski in the lander, but we decided to go the other way towards the Alliance base, and now <coughs> towards the convoy. Yasna discovers the destination of the last convoy that left the field base. She sets off after realizing that there may be a chance to find other people, and this is what we've just discovered now. Yasna arrives at the Esk. The excavation site, where one of the discovered objects catches her eye. Unlike the others, this one resembles a robot. Possible life. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, okay. So, right, we're back in. So we need to head up there, do we? I think. Yes. Okay, let's go. Pressure read out changed. I feel this story is How far to that convoy? I'm not rambling. far. Even if I make a few stops, it won't take long. Mysteries. I'm falling. Come on, little buggy. You can do it. There's no other track marks where I'm going now, so unless they've just been naturally covered. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna use a word here, weatherized. Uh, I think. Astrogator, I've already covered most of the convoy route. I'm entering a more enclosed area. A ravine to be precise. Ooh. Can I count on a tactical report? analysis of the situation won't hurt anyone. Hmm, that's for sure. Come on, frames. Um, do I need to... Do I need to go up there? Don't think so. Um, judging by the rock formations, I'm So, not I'd rather sure keep going and stop for a pointless reconnaissance. 
The tactical report is that I'll be at their location in a few minutes, and then I'll find out whether they're still there. That's a rather modest tactical report, <laughs> but I won't insist. Please keep going. Uh, I'm nearing the destination. Interesting. Now and I'll be on foot. Oh, I want to keep the, the, the vehicle, but I can't, obviously. Radiation level has increased. It's getting interesting. The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful of radiation and of other people. Just watch yourself. Um, I'm going to be positive. Saying people who are alive and mentally sound is something I'm always counting on, Astrogator. They may be my only chance, and not only mine. You have other subordinates who need help. Yes, I'm fully aware, Doctor. However, you must keep in mind that alive and mentally sound members of the Alliance are still a threat. Hmm. Stuck vehicle. One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh, so you've already reached the convoy. It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. Journal update. What do we got? Okay, so that's where I am, and that's the vehicle. SMU-27. Oh, I see. Ah, right. So, these are all the people from the Alliance base, possibly. There's a robot um, tag numbers and vehicle numbers. Okay. Right. So, we need to head in to this vehicle in order to get through to the other side. Oh. Uh, I'm going to miss driving that little thing. What we got here? CK Volpule. Whatever the hell that is. Dear someone, I want to assure you that our expedition proceeds according to plan without any more spectacular observations and discoveries. <clears throat> we predict a possible momentary stop for maintenance services. However, it shouldn't strongly influence the date of my return. Therefore, dear, be at ease and sure that I come back ready for my full presence in our joint life. That's a bit spiritual, this. However, I would like you to understand how much of a striking discovery this isotope was for us. However, ugh, words. How important for my academic career and my name, which I hope will become yours. Oh my god, I can't. I, I hate reading because I can't. It's the first particle in human history of space flights with unstable radioactive isotope discovered beyond the solar system. Right. Discovered by me. Please understand. Oh, please understand. Think about it. In 26 AIF, child of celestial bodies, a compound created as a result of two objects crashing into each other are hidden. All mysteries of stars conjunction. Brain's already melting through my ears, and my eyes have dropped out of my face. Um, any day now, if I only spend a few nights on it, I'll be able to determine its mass. Right now, I know that one of them is a was a red giant star. In my hands, there are answers to the questions, which stirred most brilliant minds of hundreds of years and made their owners strain their eyes to look through lunettes right in the CK Volpucule that sounds like a Pokemon new in the little fox I don't understand any of this in the sentence that I am more interested in the stars conjunctions than connections between people and in the expression of my opinion about the consequences of stars, collisions being superior to anything that two protein made entities can create, I only want to relay my absolute admiration for cosmic harmony and mathematical beauty of astrophysicists, nothing more. Forgive me, you're returning. 
be. Uh, sorry, I just died and came back to life and realised, what am I reading? I can't see a thing. Hang on. Oh, there's a thing here. Right. Up we go then. Status? Nothing's changed, Astrocator. Understood. Ah, we're out. <coughs> Where, though, is another point in question. Ah, ooh. Um. Ah, antimatter. That's what they were called. I must have made this hole. Is it active? Game is dead. Loading. Too many times. I admire your composure. <sighs> well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Mac. Hang on. Oh. Someone's here. Oh, I've got two things on tracker. I've got something really close to me. Oh, no. <gasps> Astrogator. They're dead. So you found someone. Oh, shoot. I had a feeling it might... Mm. <clears throat> I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place, not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. Check the registry. Ah, right, okay. Okay, okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. Right. Here we go. What do we have here? Oh, right. They were preparing for departure. The convoy is heading somewhere. Oh. I was there. It's the location with the giant cranes. Ah, right yes. They lifted that strange artifact above ground level. They're getting close to where I am now. They're here. Sending a probe. The light is constantly changing behind me. They're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How subtle. Mm. Can you locate the breach? I think that's behind me. Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Okay. Oh, shame. The transport's leaving. Something's going on. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. One of them is staring with concern at... An instrument. Some sort of meter. Hmm. Ah, oh, what's this? Measurements are also strange. The electromagnetic field is in the upper range. Oh, that's a recurring factor, which explains nothing, really. We're going in circles instead of getting off this planet. Hmm. Is there anything actually helpful in those photos? Don't you want to know what happened, sir? I do. If my crew was safe and sound, I'd gladly investigate it myself. Explaining this mystery would not only expand our knowledge, but also bring us honor and glory. Not to mention the exposure of the Alliance's incompetence. At the moment, though, I have other priorities, Doctor. <sighs> it's ever, ever more increasing that this guy Novik knows more than he's letting on, I believe, because he desperately wants us to get home. The photo is I mean, such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear on his face. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel. 
running from whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Asta. <laughs> Spare me your concern, sir. I'm not a child. I'll be fine. Right, let's carry on. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And what happened next? <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> There's uh. nothing else. Only darkness. Can't you see what he was aiming for? Uh, the machine's objective has changed. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Oh, is that enemy? Oh. Total panic. Everyone's trying to escape. Don't like this. Astrogator. The Antimat's new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? There's also a second Antimat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. Not necessarily. Oh. The second Antimat. That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. I wonder if that will change. It's firing directly at the crew. Oh, shit. Yeah, the enemy count's gone up. Shooting them. Ooh. One by one. It's horrifying what an antimatter being does to the human body. Uh, I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Oh, damn this mission. I curse whoever sent us here to play some half our spy game. There's more. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. Ah. Interesting. Two there. Has it picked them up? Yep. It's. Oh no. Is it? Yep. Two targets. Hiding from it made no difference. One man has raised his hands in surrender. This is a robot. This probably won't know what that means. Still classing you as a threat. Yep. One. If only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, yep. but it could never feel compassion. No. It's like the film with Johnny Depp, isn't it? Transcendence. Brains, well, your body dies, but your brain goes into a sort of computer, and then you give it more access to everything. The internet, global things. It becomes smarter and smarter and smarter. It killed him. The machine just killed him. Um, um, the last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell, so it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational, oh, and it could okay. target you at any moment. Enemy, no, no, not. Perhaps it's best to hope while moving away. That... That's all. What about that tunnel? Oh, right. Oh, crap. <laughs> I hear no objection. Why not? I'm not hearing you object, sir. Go ahead, Yasna. I know you'll do it anyway. Um, is it this way? I think it is. Let's have a look at the... Yes, it is. So what's down here, then? Ah, uh, doesn't look like I'll be able to get up because of the way the rocks are there. Also, comic book. So we've unlocks a new part of the comic strip here. It's convoy. So when Yasna locates the convoy, she finds out that everyone is dead. They had to be a fight beforehand. This is what we've learned. The Antimat's logs show that the Alliance's machines turned against their masters. But why, though? 
Oh, God. Why is that noise? Oh, wait. Tracker. Ah, what was over here? Was was that the body? Yes, I think it was. Yep, yeah, okay. Um, what are you? Are you inside there? Oh, you're another body. Ah, okay. Is there anything in here? Oh, man. Okay, let's put that away. I can hear a rhythmic, metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Sir, something's still affecting. Take your time, yes, sir. Don't rush. I can't, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. Thank God for subtitles. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. This at all. I do not like this. Oh, hang on. It's in Arctan. Coming at me. Ah, huh. carrying something. Ah. Oh, I got out. Walt, inside a cave. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah! Oh. I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, yes, sir. You need to rest. Refocus. No. No. I'm better now. Alright then. Ugh. Can you tell me what's in there? Seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. We found an arc unit. Something. This place is full of metal bushes. Same as the ones before. Oh, that's cool. Robot. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are fruitless. So the alliance came to pick the fruits <laughs> and found not much else. Or is that covering? So the alliance was particularly interested in the fruits growing out of the metal bushes. Yasna decides to get some for the Commonwealth's research. Is that a good idea? Um, so how would I go about doing this? Or do I just carry on and it presents itself? Their crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock, revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue-like alloy. Little bushes growing out of metal soil. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them as I understand, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, yes, sir? Hang on. Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, if it's all metal... Then I'll use the detector. Ah. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Oh, shit. Oh. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Hmm, interesting. So similar. To the structures I saw following Gorski. Ah. Uh. Yes. 
Huh. Or perhaps it's... Looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... All grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? Organic based. And the old one used to be alive. We can't rule it out. And you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Huh. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous, especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yeah. Yes, Are you abandoning your profession? What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. Well, this is this is exactly what it is, you know. We're on a new planet, a new system. Our science and technologies and information structures that we know don't apply. And laws don't apply here. Now, there's a person here. Who am you? Are we making notes of people? I think we are, aren't we? Yeah. Sorry about that, mate. Okay. I think we... Oh, can I go any further? Yes. No. Maybe so. I don't think so. Status? What's new? Well, nothing, really. At least not in the last five seconds, sir. Right. Thank you. Ah, oh, wait a minute. I'm pretty sure the box is filled with research material. Those fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. I'll come closer first. Oh, shit! I can't handle it anymore. I reckon it's something inside the box. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Hang on. What is... Um... Okay, follow the arc ten. Oh my god. Okay. I just lost all consciousness. The robot disappeared. You must have broken its loop. I didn't. No, you must have done something. Never mind. We'll try to locate it. But first of all, get out of there now. Yeah. <laughs> Roger I found that. the robot. It hasn't gone far. Good. Please follow it. Right. And time? Uh, yeah. oh. I don't like how something is that's probably natural wind blowing like Sand or dust off the tops here. Oh, fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. Oh, shit. Oh. The robot. No, no, the anti -mat. You need to act fast. Uh. No. Oh, crap. They will kill me if I. Yasna? Um. I don't know what to do. I destroyed the robot. What are you doing now? Uh. Um. Oh shit. The probe won't come this time. Yes, sir. Stay calm. It won't come. No. Don't die on me now. I'm begging you. Don't give up. You can't. You can't. I failed you. Sorry. So um. sorry. It's all my fault. You hear me? All mine. It was my decision. I decided to accept this mission. How did I survive? Wait. You said you had a choice. Uh-oh. Yes, you're alive. Apparently. If you could reject it, why didn't you? After a series of successful missions, are you safe now? Safe enough. And the antimat? He decided not to shoot me after all. 
Hmm. Please continue, sir. <clears throat> I'm all ears. You will agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree, but then it seemed... This could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine... You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Interesting. Hmm. Merit. Hmm. Merit? She can no longer forgive you. Same goes for the others. I'm fully aware. All of it weighs heavily on my mind. Believe me, Doctor. So, what do we do now? Will you finally let me send Hopper for you? I... I can't just fly away. <laughs> now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people. And what we can do to aid them. Okay. Just gotta find the rest of the convoy, so... There's the For robot. now, you can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first Antiman told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? All right, let's have a look. Okay. So there's the arc bot. Okay, there's a damaged probe. So this must be right now. Well, let's get. Hang on, here is that me? One enemy. Oh, that's interesting. No enemy. None. Oh, she's put it away. That's interesting. Anything else? If I move in front of it... Yeah, it's still very much active. Why didn't it kill me, though? Ugh, nice legs. Oh, it's cooled down. Well, at least it cut me away through. Ah, there's a rover. Yes. Actually, it's right in front of me. Oh, in the um, convoy um, vehicles. Oh, can't get in there. Too much sand. Okay. So we are now marking them on here. Yes. Where am I now? I'm down here. Okay. Yeah, because I couldn't get any further this way. Right. Ah, uh, can I use it? I, mm, probably not. Oh yeah, we're making notes here. Hang on. There we go. Journal updated. Oh, there's somebody in here. Oh, yeah, okay. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? Extremely unreasonable of them, but it's nothing to complain about, is it? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. Uh -huh. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slides. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction no. site, separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Ah, uh, th there's more. Base, come oh. in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Test luck here. Over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh? I'm listening. 25th day. Base, this is Boza. 
Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Mm. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, when in a group, they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Ah. Uh. Is Markovnik there? Navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Mm, gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But... Why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Something's moving. Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Is Immediately. It... That's an order. Is this that now? Is no. Oh, okay. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out, partially at least. Hmm. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field, the field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. At first, I thought it was a sensoric uh. malfunction. After all, the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. That explains a lot Another of things. Another known effect okay. of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally, but the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? Hmm. In theory. I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember anything. Even language. Their past, our voyages together. Let's face it. This new life of theirs will be far from normal. There'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'd be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Ooh, that's a lot of info. Okay. See you, uh, see who this person is. Oh, yeah, been marked. Right, what have we got here? Radar. Ooh. Uh, yes. Can I? Oh, Bob. Ah. Uh. Interesting. That's 
phase two. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing something else. That's just the power to the rover. There's the channels. We know base two is currently selected. There's nobody there. This isn't showing up anything. No. Sound? Nothing else is on there. <sighs> mm. I've located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. And you've got this metal bush growing on top of the vehicle as well. And it looks like it's uh, pollinating or potentially releasing these flies. I wonder... So we've got another vehicle noted. Let's see if there's anything in here. Okay, well, we had a key for something. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. <laughs> what am I looking at? Oh, is that a robot? It's too awkward to squeeze in. The whole vehicle is just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Hmm. Ah. That helps. Now. Okay. Oh, I can't uh, open the journal. I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. Hmm. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Uh, well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects, and the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? Given the age of the oldest forms and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. I dare say that we are dealing with an evolution here. Far longer than that of human. Also very different. And dead. Necroevolution. Mortuus evolutionis. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. Well, I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of with all the skepticism that comes with it. Oh, no. Can I not select that? Oh, false. Okay. I think we've probably learnt what we uh, need to learn there. Ah, is this another dome thing here? Yeah. That's protecting, so I wonder if... Okay, there's another vehicle marked. Can we go in here? I don't think so. Can we? Oh, maybe. No. Oh. The 
The second transporter is under a force field. Can I get through? It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Uh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. There are powerful emitters in the center. Similar to those on Energobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Energobot. Well, look carefully. Energobots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. Right. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. I'm sure there was something else over there. Let's go. Oh. Okay, so I need to go down. Must be a a way through. Okay, we found somebody else. This looks promising. Little gap or entryway here. Yes. Oh, and we're saved. I wonder. I think I might actually end this particular episode here. I'm going to stop here. It's getting ever so, ever so exciting now, increasingly, as the elements of this game slowly but surely are starting to unfold. And I'm still enjoying it, so I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Uh, on that, do let me know in the comments below. It's exciting. I, just, I really want to carry on. Um, and I will, so stay tuned. In order to stay in touch with this channel do subscribe like and comment uh, it does help the channel and the algorithms and all that palaver uh, as I've mentioned before we've surpassed our um, subscription goals uh, for the channel We're going through an uh, experimental sort of promotion beta procedure on YouTube and it's worked surprisingly well however the watch times in that hasn't sort of counted I, I'm not sure if that actually counts anyway but that is the the next goal which is uh, getting uh, to the medium milestone and then the primary milestone which is eventually full partnership with YouTube it unlocks um, all sorts of things community wise um, as well as for myself and the channel so look forward to that um, and there we are so, thank you very much, past, present and future watchers, for watching. Cheerio.